the farm families of Cabot Cooperative are happy to be stuck in Vermont. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name's Ava Saulberger, and we are here in Burlington at the Echo Lake Aquarium and Science Center. I didn't realize how the human body worked. I had a simple idea of how it worked, and I came here, and it totally changed my mind. Humans have always wondered about the mysteries that lie beneath our skin. And here at Our Body, The Universe Within, you can see for yourself. There are actual human bodies and organs on display. People at any given level of anatomy can get something out of this because we all know some level of anatomy. We've heard of the heart, the lungs, the intestines, and we can see them for real in this exhibit. About two years ago that we decided that you know, maybe we should explore something really big, something that's very different than anything we've ever done. The College of Medicine is a co-sponsor of this exhibit. We couldn't have done this without the University of Vermont Medical School. We needed their expertise, and in fact, their faculty have been down here all week training volunteers, training staff. They're uh, used to uh, baby turtles and hatcheries and things like that, but not so much human bodies. This is the first time Vermont and this portion of the country has ever had anatomy exhibit at all, so we're thrilled to be here. Well, you know, here at ECHO, we're a lot about teaching everybody and engaging everybody about the ecosystem that is really in the Lake Champlain Basin. But you know, really, each one of us is walking around with our own ecosystem. It's called our own body. No computer on the planet could do what your body does. Sometimes we wonder how the body works, and sometimes we're wondering why it doesn't work. And an exhibit like this can take the mystery out of that for you. Our goal is for people to come through the exhibition and to really appreciate what their body is. Uh, people in the United States are living so much longer now. We're living into our 80s and our 90s, and what we want you all to do is to have an extremely active lifestyle. And if you come in, take a look at what's going on, you'll appreciate it a little bit more, maybe be able to take care of it a little better. And we also will try to point out things that are very common, so that people that have carpal tunnel syndrome, have sciatica nerve issues, maybe you're getting a hip replacement or had a hip replacement or a knee replacement. Elbow joints to gallbladders to uh, prostate glands, it's all here in this exhibit. You think that you have um, hundreds of organs or hundreds of parts in you and then you come in here and you realize it's billions. One of the most profound things I think about this exhibit, when you leave it, will change you. It is totally age appropriate for everybody. The only thing about bringing children is that I'm going to warn you is that you must be prepared to answer a million questions. We encourage children come with their parents because it's a great learning environment. An exhibit like this uh, can get people interested in science. In the United States we're dropping very rapidly behind the other worlds in mathematics and sciences. I know for me when I was in seventh grade I dissected a frog and from that point on, I knew I wanted to be a biologist. I had a simple idea of my hand, and I came here. It totally changed my mind. Yeah, I learned so much from this exhibit. The process is referred to as polymer impregnation, and what they do is you take a specimen and it goes into a bat of acetone. After the acetone is pulled out, the liquid from our body, it goes into a second bat, and that bat is a polymer, and that polymer impregnates like a plastic inside. It's revolutionary in a few different ways. Normally, you know, when we're dissecting our, our bodies in a gross anatomy course, we only have a finite amount of time. The last time we've been able to look at specimens like this is when they have been on a dissecting table with formaldehyde, which is extremely toxic and has a very short lifespan. So here we have the specimens that will last virtually forever. These exhibits have always been in larger metropolitan areas. They've always been very popular, but I never could imagine one of them coming here to Burlington, and I was so excited. We're very proud of that, because most of the cities that host this kind of exhibits are half a million or more. I'm really glad that this show was brought here, and I hope it inspires people. You can see this exhibit at the Echo Center through September 3rd. Today I learned that my spinal cord actually looks like a centipede. Who would have thought that? We'll get stuck in with you again real soon. The people who donated themselves to science, so thank you. 
the fact that things work when they do, you know, when it goes wrong, you're like, hey. But it, it, the fact that it works, the rest of the time. And, and that it's amazing. It's amazing that it all works. It's amazing that I can get up in the morning and I don't have to turn on an on switch. Hi, I'm Julie Foudy. When you practice hard, give your all, and do your best, you too can compete for gold medals and honors. Like me, like Cabot Cheese. CabotCheese.com.